Hey y'all, so you know we back with another video And today's video, I'm doing some customizing to this wig um, And some highlights And yeah, um, I don't have the I keep not getting the video of me installing it I'm gonna see if I got it for y'all It was even hard finding, finding these videos, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all but um i will definitely see if i have the videos of me installing it and that will be just be like a separate video for y'all or whatever but um right here um you know i get straight into it i don't waste no time y'all um i had section um the head into a middle part then i took um both sides and i'm sectioning out three parts yeah three parts i'm sectioning out that you'll see right there um this is the other side uh so you'll see one two three one three parts and a side on this side and then three parts on the other side three parts in the back so yeah i'm just going for a little blown look um i wasn't too too happy with how it came out but it came out cute and I liked it, and everybody else liked this, so I guess we won't trip. But I really wanted it to be like real blonde. But being as though it had all the different colors, and you know, it had like somebody said they thought like it was orange in my hair and stuff like that. I was like, huh? Not orange, honey. But yeah. Um. So I'm not going to talk too much, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to show y'all. The video is sped up. So it's not, we not sitting here watching this all fucking day. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to talk too much, y'all. I'm going to let y'all watch the video. So I noticed that I never showed y'all um, the consistency of the bleach. And I always want to show y'all the little small steps, especially for the people that don't know really how to do hair and come to here to watch videos on detailed tutorials. And um, if y'all want like real detailed tutorials or anybody that's like new to doing hair, anything like that, please let me know. Because I will definitely make sure that I'm showing every little thing in the video. Um... And making sure it's close enough for y'all to see and it's good lighting and stuff like that. Because um, I always want my videos to be good quality and I want y'all to really see what's going on. And you know, I always give it to y'all really raw. Mistakes happen sometimes, you know. And I will just always be honest with y'all. But, um, yeah. 
I just, um, I definitely will make sure that I do get better, you know, videos. I do be missing a little bit of stuff, but, um, consistency needs to be like icing, like I told you on the last video, but not too thick, whereas though y'all can still spread it out and do not be petting it all hard on the lace. You do not want it to bleed through and bleach there, especially if you're not, you know, doing little highlights like how I'm doing. So, Make sure you doing it, lightly tapping it, but making sure you still get it on there. Right here i'm going to show y'all all nine pieces that are in the hair so it's three on each side three in the back and, um yeah that's about it leave it on there for i left it on there for a while like i was leaving it on there for a long time like a long time like y'all can see i even went and changed my damn clothes went and got in the shower blue dry my hair all that but yes it took a minute so you know it came out however whatever people liked it so i guess i won't complain but y'all gonna see it come out gonna get into this part because i have a lot to tell you guys and you know when i had just said mistakes happen mistakes do happen you know like mistakes do happen and um i do you know smoke so you know i might have been a little you know off of it but who was gonna tell me that i wasn't supposed to use the shimmer lights as a goddamn conditioner or shampoo or however you want to call it to wash this damn hair. So who wanted to tell me that? Because I could have swore shimmer lights like toned down like that brassy like you know yellowness. I mean it was toned down like a little bit of them colors or whatever that probably wasn't cute. But, because it was a little bit of little blonde strands that I was like, mm, I don't know. But, I mean, like, it ain't messing up nothing, y'all. It still came out cute. It was just like, who told me to do that? Like, I had a whole nother bottle of shampoo in there. I don't know why I ain't used it. But, yeah, y'all, here go one of my mistakes. I wasn't really, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if it's a mistake because it still came out cute, so... But, yeah. Get straight into plucking. Um, so 
So when you're starting to pluck, um, a good thing to do is make sure that the hair is wet while you're plucking. That's the best way to pluck. And to have one of these little stands. Or if you good with your knee in a white towel, do you, honey? But me, not so much. Did it before and bolted the whole damn wig. Had to get a new one. Um, I'd rather do it like this because I can stand over top of it. And the way I grip it and like I hold it, it just works best for me. Um, so I start sectioning out the first like layer of the hair. Um, which will usually like be like you know little baby heads, and then I section out another little small piece. I wish I would bring the cam. Now y'all can see it a little bit better. But I section out then another small piece. Um, you could probably see like a little bit how thick that piece is. Um, how much I pulled out. But um, and then I start plucking. So I don't pluck at the hairline. I pluck behind it. So. Once I'm done with that one, I will take another small section and then keep going back until I think I'm good enough. I don't go always, like, all the way to the back. I literally just make sure I get, like, the most important parts. Um, so, yeah. And make sure you comb in all of that hair out. Y'all see all the hair? That's how you know you plucking. Um... And another thing that I can help for y'all that's probably new to plucking is to make sure that you're not staying in one spot. Always keep your hand constantly moving back and forth. Do not never stay in one spot. That is how you create both spots. Keep your hand moving back and forth. Keep like a motion. Get like a rhythm. I like a rhythm. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm tired. But um, yes. Get like a rhythm and like you know with your hand. Keep going back and forth. And you'll see, like, you know, it getting more, like, realistic hairstyle. Because all that woof stuff, y'all be knowing the difference. Y'all be seeing the difference. But just don't pluck away the whole goddamn lease. Okay? So I'm just finishing up plucking. Um, 
I didn't feel like I plucked enough, so I went back in and plucked more and then did some off camera. Um, and I didn't have the best of tweezers, so, you know. But um, I went for like a natural look. Um, I didn't cut it until probably like a few weeks after and just, you know, went for that actual bulb look. I had went for like a, you know, a little natural look, like if it was my hair. So I really didn't cut it um, too much. Um, and I left it like that, which you'll see in a minute. And then um, I dyed it again. I gave it another beach, um, beach, bleh, beach bleach bath. I don't know what is going on. Bleach bath and um, dyed it more lighter. That was like recently. This was like um, maybe a, like a week ago or two. I had did that. Um, but yeah, y'all gonna see. I just hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below what videos y'all want me to post. Um, if it's certain stuff y'all wanna see. Let me know, and I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I love you.